We got a good one today. We got a good one today. Um, and it's a lazy one. Um, I'm calling this feature, and I've kind of done this before, but I don't think I did them this well. I'm much better at editing now and all that stuff. I'm calling this Diary of a Freelance, let's go with drummer. So let's concisely make a little story here. The last interview I did with Misty Rose, who is a keyboard player, sound engineer, burlesque star, helped me to define this channel after two years, about time! Uh, about, you can do what you want. You know, yeah, the umbrella of this channel is about drumming, and uh, I do a lot of instructional, and all that kind of stuff, but the, the real point of this channel I always thought it was about maybe uh, talking to musicians for a little while. I thought it was that, but really it's about doing what you want and not bowing your head or your knee to the corporate gods, right? And we can get on with what that means. If you'd like to actually converse with me, go ahead and PM me. I'm happy to have conversations about this. I'm very left-wing, very liberal. I want abortions for everybody. Uh, um, I think that's funny. You know, I I, <laughs> I went home recently, my dad had an 80th birthday, and he's like Mr. Fox News, and you know, they were going on about abortion, and that was my rebuttal. Mandatory abortions for everyone. Mandatory. Um, anyway, so I get a call, I think it's like three weeks now. I get a call on a Wednesday by Chris Canis. Let's hear it for Chris Canis. brilliant guitar player, and even better vocalist if you ask me. Who's asking me? Nobody. I'm asking me. A uh, brilliant guitar player and better vocalist. And I get a call to go up north with him and do shows that weekend. And he sends me tunes, 20 or so original songs. And I, I, I realize I have literally Thursday, and not really all day Thursday, because I had a gig Thursday night. Where he wanted me to go, upstate Michigan, up north Michigan, whatever you want to call it, is about a seven hour drive. So I didn't have a whole lot of time for studying. And I don't think it's a good idea to stay up all night studying for that kind of thing. I'd rather have my brain the improvisatory, improvisatory? Is that such a thing? Ding, 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 I think it is. Uh, you need to have that working well, so I, I don't want to, you know, skimp on sleep. So really, it, all said and done, I only have like three or four hours to really go over his tunes. And he's a brilliant guitar player. And I, so here, this is my excuse slash, I don't know what slash it is. I don't know. I wish I prepared. I wish I wrote something out for these things. Like, my, this is why my channel doesn't do well. Um, well. So a lot of what he was doing was cover material that I knew. But he's a brilliant guitar player. And he likes to do renditions of cover tunes as well. And he had the cover tunes listed on the list, except the way he was doing those cover tunes wasn't even close you know, to the originals. Sometimes it was. Sometimes it was, sometimes it wasn't. I don't want to say it wasn't. He did Purple Rain pretty much, uh, pretty, pretty close to the original Purple Rain from Prince, right? So, I'm going to be honest. I was a little, so one excuse I would give myself is the short notice. The other one is, you know, I was a little out of practice of doing this kind of thing 
because of a pandemic, uh, when I, when the pandemic sort of opened back up and it's, it's not really over, but maybe it is over. I don't know. Uh, I really was working with mainly one artist, which I, I, I love this artist. I think she's one of the best things in Detroit. Uh, I th feel fortunate, not blessed. I will never say the word blessed. You know, I, I know a guy, a musician. Everything that happens in his life, oh my God, on Facebook. I'm so blessed that I found saltine crackers on the shelf. I'm so blessed that the store was open when I got there. I'm so blessed that God got me a gig. It's just so irritating. It really is. Enough of that. I can't help it. I can't help it. Anyway, let's get back to that. I don't want this to be a long video. I keep saying it and I don't do it. So, uh, you get in the habit of performing with one show over and over. Now, here's the thing. Let's get back to the umbrella. Doing what you love to do. I love to freelance. I love jumping and sitting in. When I was with Carnival Cruise Lines, my middle time with them, my middle two years was spent as a relief drummer. And I would fly from ship to ship, relieve this guy for two weeks, relieve that guy for two weeks, and go show to show to show to show. Because you have to learn the stuff that fast. And you have to take great guesses. And you just have to be really good at doing that. And I think out of all the things you can do as a musician, that is the hardest thing to do. That is the hardest thing to do. I'm not putting down band guys. I think working with Tasha Owens makes me look good, makes me sound good. I know the material so I can really be a little freer with it. I know where it's going. There's no surprises. I like doing that. I enjoy coming up with a good part, you know, to a tune. All that kind of stuff is true. But jumping into the frying pan and getting that show right when I had three hours to learn it, woohoo! Now, truth be told, I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't think Friday night I did that great of a job. Now, according to Mr. Canis, by middle of the first set, I got my groove on and we were going, right? Uh, that may be true. That may be true. I don't know. I feel we had stone walls in this place. That's not an excuse. And, and sound was bouncing all over the place and I couldn't, so much so that the next night I went without monitors. So, but the next night I did a pretty good job, except for one tune. He's a guitar player, and he's a really good guitar player, so he likes to start these tunes with these crazy, weird intros, and he's yell, trying to yell to me where one was, and he could barely do it because it was so physical what he was doing. And it turns out, because of, you know, bouncing off the walls, it was a... He called it a shuffle, it was really a jump. Uh, and he was doing Chain of Fools. I didn't even know he was doing Chain of Fools till the middle of the tune. So that tune, I asked him nicely, I said, please, Chris, don't ever, don't ever show that tune on video ever to anyone. But there were other tunes that night that I killed. Yeah, I can say that. There was, and see, that's what I mean I, I, about being a freelance artist. You need to be honest with yourself. Don't believe your critics that tell you how great you're, you're, how terrible you are. And don't believe the ones who love you that tell you how great you are. Neither of those is true. Neither of those. The truth is, know yourself. The second night, a lot of those tunes, man, I killed them. And I did them great. And there was one or two I wondered, what the hell is going on? Anyway, one of the perks of being a freelance that I like is traveling. I liked it with Carnival Cruise Lines. I did, I think the two years I did it, I was on like 40 different airplanes in two years. And that, and that wasn't counting the ones coming home. That was going ship to ship to ship to ship to ship to ship. And I loved being in different places. And one of the things I like about doing freelance, I had to drive seven hours up north. And Michigan and New York and some of these places are really beautiful when you make that drive water and things like that. So we're going to show you a couple of those things. I started this out with showing you a little bit of Some Kind of Wonderful. So let me show you a little bit of Friday Night and then, and then we'll, we'll back up and show you the trip.
know, I was debating whether I wanted to do this or not. Um, so I'm heading up North Michigan. I'm going to cross the Mackinac Island Bridge thing. It's pretty oh, cool. Short one, but it's going to be a fun one. So this is the life of a musician. You can see I've got the my drums in my car. And I've got a trunk full. Now, I don't really need them. There is going to be a kit there and all that. But I've learned through past unfortunate accidents that you bring them anyway. Just bring them anyway. They can sit in the car. You know, whatever. Better. Anyway, um... I'm halfway up. Like I said, I wasn't going to do this, so I'm doing it now. Um, I'll I'll take some photos of the Mackinac Bridge. We'll talk about it as I cross, and I'll see you soon. All right, this is the best part of the journey. Uh, let's see. I think see. This is the Mackinac uh, Bridge. It's like a, it's like one of the longest suspension bridges or something like that. I don't know, there's facts about it. You know, I'll post it in this. So, you know, I actually enjoy the long drives. Let's see if we can get a, you know, the water and all that. And uh, I'm going to give a, a shout out to my friend Angie, too. Um, she lives in Florida. I think she's in New York still right now, though. Uh, anyway, she digs this kind of thing. I know she's big on the tap and see, but this is a pretty cool bridge itself. I, I got a show tonight. Uh, like I said, this is a, a guy, a very great guitar player, a really good vocalist, and he does what I say, you know, he sells the song. So many people, they sing, they sing good, they don't sell the song. Tosh Owens is one of them who sells the song. Anyway, so here's the bridge, there be the water, right, and the boaties and all that stuff, and this is, like I said, the most... The, 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 probably, you know, the perks of the job. You know, I travel a bit, and I pretty much travel, you know, all, like, 47 out of the 50 states, I think, over the course of my career, uh, by car, you know, and look, this country, as you know, has a lot of issues. You know, we need health care and all that kind of stuff, but yet, there are some beautiful landscape, landscapes <laughs> in this country, and we need to fix our infrastructure, but, you know, a long time ago, we built some pretty nice infrastructure, however it's, you know, old. Anyway, aside from all that, here's the Mackinac Bridge and the big, what, I don't know, what do they call those, those things that go up? So anyway, here's the perk. Uh, we'll just get past these things, and then uh, I'll see you at the gig. But okay, I'm now some footage from Saturday, which I was definitely playing better. I definitely felt more relaxed with their styles and them with my style. Um... And I don't, I don't have footage from Saturday night, the show, which went, went well, except for that one tune. Um, but I have some footage that he took as a promotional, uh, some promotional videos he was taking for himself. And, you know, we're, we got to do it during the day. We were, it was a lower volume we were playing at. And we got to sort of like rehearse the tune and then work out the little nooks and crannies of it. And then, you know, record the tune. And really, when you're doing freelance, it's really good if you can spend a day or two. And I got to do that with Mark Farner and Dick Wagner when I jumped in the first time for his first set of shows. We had a couple of nine-hour rehearsals. Now, nine out of ten times, you don't get that. So it's no excuse. you got to get in there and do the best you can. And you got to guess right more than you guess wrong. Anyway, here's Saturday. And with any luck, I'll have a nice surprise for you at the end. I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway... I hope you enjoy this. I hope Chris Canis, hope you enjoy it. Share it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm also having dinner while I'm doing this. Like you needed to know that. Anyway, see you on the next one. Ditch.
something new that means you too. You said you wanna leave her, can't seem to make up your mind. Man's more cozy than me tired you. Blue the purple rain, purple rain. Hey guys, well the trip is over, and I'll tell you what, last night was the second show, and it was pretty darn good. Now I'm not going to lie, the first night, you know, the sound was really crazy, and everything was really boomy, it was a it was a very cool club, very cool, Galaxy Coffees are very cool, if you're up in the UP, in, in Michigan, in the Munising, it would be a good place to check out, but it's a lot of stone, so you, so, you know, Pretty much, this is by the way, you know, how post what the lake is, I can't remember right now. Well, I got up this morning, it was like 46 degrees, thank God, the temperature's rising, it's like 54 now, but I got a t-shirt on, so I'm cold. And last night, man oh man, but even so last night there was one tune, Chris Canis is a great guitar player, and great guitar players like those crazy intros where they crunch the strings and they got that muddy low register. And when you're in a room like that, and 
I believe it or not, it was the song Chain of Fools, which I played a million times, but he was doing it as a shuffle. And if you know what that is, and I had my big fat DW nickel plated chrome rock snare, and those fast shuffles don't sound good on it. And, but, and it took me about 30 seconds to figure out where he was putting it and what he wanted, but then it locked in with the bass player and it was good. And I really did a bottom shuffle. I did the quarter notes, like at the end of uh, the ocean. Um, if you know that, so it worked great. But so that was the one song all night that threw me a little. Uh, and I never heard Chain of Fools done that way. Anyway, uh, I'm on my way home. I still got another four hours, four and a half hours to go. Um, I hope you like what you see on the video. I hope you hire Chris Canis. And I hope he hires me back. There were some moments there that it was skyrocketing. Anyway, hope you enjoy this view. See you soon.